one away. Okay, true story, true story. When I was a freshman in college, I had the yips so bad that I too hopped a ball to the third baseman after a strikeout and my coach pulled me out of the game. Incredibly embarrassing. It literally looked like this. It's terrible. And all I could think in my mind was, I hope no one notices I have the yips. I was like scared to admit, like I'm having a hard time right now. But it's very real, it's very real. If your throw to the pitcher looks something like this, go ahead and rip it in there. You have what is called a safety throw, or you just straight up don't want to throw it back to the pitcher because you have the yips. The first thing that I did that helped me break the yips was I admitted that I had it. I admitted to myself. I kept denying it. I kept playing catch, being like, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. I'm just going to fix it. I'm just going to fix it. And it kept getting worse and worse and worse. So the first thing I did was like, you know what? I'm having a hard time. And then I talked to somebody who I trusted to be like, dude, I'm having some, I'm having a hard time with something that's really elementary. Come to find out, a lot of catchers have the problem. And so I researched it and this is what I found. Apparently, you have enough strength in your jaw to bite off your finger, but your brain won't let you do it. Why? Because it would hurt. It would be really bad for your survival to bite off your finger, obviously. But you could, but your brain wouldn't let you. So when you're playing in a baseball game, a throw back to the pitcher seems like so simple. If you mess it up, you've messed something up that you really shouldn't mess up. So your brain makes it of the utmost importance because it represents your survival as a player. It sounds crazy, but your ego attaches so much value to your image. And when your image is threatened, you look weak, you seem weaker because you can't throw back to the pitcher, your body tries to keep you from that position. It tries to keep you safe the same way it keeps you from biting off your finger. Your brain attaches, whoa, don't do that, to throwing it back to the pitcher. Now, I'm not like a neuroscientist, but this was just my experience. So once I realized that my brain was trying to keep me alive, but what was actually happening was my body was trying to save my ego, I realized that if I just Re, if I just kind of let it go and thought to myself, well, what if I throw it into the outfield? It'll be embarrassing. We might lose the game, but I'm not going to die. My body is not going to die. And then if something started to slowly click, that my life was not on the line throwing it back to the pitcher. So from my freshman year of college, I couldn't throw it back to the pitcher. And I was two hopping the ball to second or third. What, by the end of my career, go ahead. I could literally throw it back to the pitcher any way I wanted to in a game and it didn't bother me. It took some time 